everybody. So I'm totally sorry it took me a couple more days than I had originally intended to get to the sacral chakra healing spreads. I have been releasing a bunch of stuff during Mercury Retrograde myself. Um, if you guys are like me, you've done a lot of your soul work. So yeah, we're still going through it and we've got like the ups and downs. But I have never in my life had such an amazing Mercury Retrograde where I've actually come in to more money. Uh, my abundance is up. My energy is up. I did want to say that I did a, an energetic grounding for the month of March and I found her on Twitter. I'm going to link her, her Twitter in the description. I'll also, I'm plugging her Twitter this way so you guys actually can follow her too. If you've got a Twitter, click follow. It's the best thing I ever did for myself during a retrograde. And I think that her grounding had a lot to do with the fact that I am so in my spirit. I have never felt so balanced during a retrograde. And then I also have taken the time to do the, the healing spreads for myself personally. And then I'm implementing what the cards are saying. So I'm seeing a lot of change there too. So I'm hoping that somebody can get a message that they need from this. The things I did want to tell you guys about is the sacral chakra rules sexuality and your passion. Okay. And the sacral chakra is actually ruled by Mercury, Jupiter, and the moon. So since we're in the Mercury retrograde, your sacral chakra may be like a more out of whack than the other chakras. It's also ruled by the emotions. So the element for it is water. So the tarot card for it would be the cups. Its zodiac signs is Taurus and Leo. And its plane of existence, which I think is really cool, is the astral plane. So I feel like I'm extra balanced right now because I've been astral projecting and all kinds of fun stuff and I'm waking up very at peace and it's just the energy we're moving into if you're doing the soul work it's uh, it's so amazing it's just that's all I can say is it's just a like a breath of just like ah uh, you know so also I wanted to say there are certain stones you can keep around you for your sacral chakra uh carnelian coral and one of my favorites is amber so i just wanted to tell you guys that um i will put the uh time for the each reading to be started for each sign in the description and i'm always going to do that for you guys so i know personally i don't i'm i i can't really sit still i just want to hear the reading <laughs> so i get it i totally get it and i'll put those time descriptions in for you and yeah, I hope that whoever listens to this gets whatever it is that they need. Um, if you do find that your chakra is out of balance, you can do color therapy. Like color therapy is really, really great for uh, balancing your chakra. So orange is your sacral chakra. So eating anything, orange foods, oranges, carrots, that type of thing, or wearing orange. And then I, I believe it's 322. Um, HC frequency for your uh, sacral chakra and I've actually got sacral chakra music healing right now playing and let me just make sure that it's either 322 or 320 but you can also type in just sacral chakra into uh, YouTube so all right let's get started I love you guys namaste Hey Aries, don't don't mind Cheeky's over here, just <laughs> not on her bone. It's like she just discovered it. She's had that bone for so long. Okay, so today we're gonna do the balancing soccer shit. Excuse me, you guys a little tongue tied. I'm feeling goofy. All right, balancing your sacral chakra spread. That's yes, my guides, my galactic guardians, my angels, my archangels, and my ancestors. Please come through and help me to give the best message to Aries, the one that's going to serve their highest good. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is cool to tell that bone. I love how she'll use both her little hands. Looks so just like, oh, I got this, I'll get it, I'll get it. All right, so the first card is a card representing your sacral chakra right now. glass half full huh Aries like you're getting things that you need to get you've got life's pretty much cool like your things are taken care of but you're just like eh 
Like, it's just another day. Like, literally just another day. Like, another day that ends in Y. I'm over it. There's nothing happening that's new. Not feeling very excited. Feeling very understimulated. I'm getting understimulation hugely. Can you not die, please? This is why mommy's gonna take these from you. Get that piece. <laughs> Okay, so, uh, sorry about that. How, <coughs> excuse me, how can Aries better channel this creative energy? So they're not feeling so understimulated. Follow your destiny. Oh, I get it. Okay, yeah, so about seven and a half months ago, I came into tarot, and I, I knew that there was, I had an affinity for it. I knew that this was what I was supposed to do. Still choking on this. I'm going to go ahead and take that from her so that she's not choking anymore. Sorry guys. Um, anyways, it was about seven and a half months ago that I was just like, wow, this is, I, I was, I'm my normal job. I'm in the adult industry. Um, not mainstream stuff. Don't go crazy guys. But anyways, uh, I was in the industry and I was working very hard and I was working from home and every day doing the same stuff. And I was just like, there's got to be more to life. Like I know that I'm not waking up every day to fucking work and go to sleep. Like this is not what my life is about. I'm not happy. I was so understimulated. Like I was to the point where I was like going and doing dumb shit and getting myself into trouble just because I was so bored. Right? Like it was just like, I have so much more to offer the world. And this is literally a where I'm at in my fishbowl. And instead of going, okay, I'm going to step out of it and step into my destiny. I was bored doing dumb shit. So the way that you can create, you know, channel your creative energy and not feel like this where you're so understimulated is if what you're doing isn't in alignment with your soul path, there will come a time where a spirit will go, I got you. Uh, hold, I got you. Right. And like, okay. Also like, are you guys having like some stomach problems? Because I was totally fine physically, physically totally fine before I started this, um, reading and I'm able to pick up on your energies I wasn't aware of how sensitive I am to the energies but it's like uh, a little bit of a nausea like to the point where it's like you, you know what you need to do and you're not really trying to do it which was me seven and a half months ago so I totally get it but I'm gonna tell you right now spirit will put you on that path either way either way if you're in this this life to ascend to help the the collective ascend and you have a mission and that was like something that you chose before you got here your spirit will find a way to trip you onto that path the, my spirit tricks me right like the spirit will be like hey why don't you just set up the table real quick and just like do a couple card readings for yourself it's been a while and i'm like yeah spirit totally cool that was like four or five six days ago <laughs> and I'm just doing cards non-stop like it's like oh I get it now but this is where I want to be so it's sometimes that happens and you can't be mad at spirit either you know it's just but you you can be mad at yourself for causing more problems because you're out of the flow it's like basically the equivalent of being in a river that's got a really really intense flow of water going one way and I looked at the clock it's 8 33 at 33 seconds um, so that's three, 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 three. And you're, you're trying to swim the opposite way of the way the flow's going and you're getting tired and you're just like, fuck, this sucks. Like you're, you're stimulated in that, in that regard, you're stimulated in that you're swimming upstream, but you're under stimulated in that this isn't what you're supposed to do. And this is what they're telling you. So what's the practical way for Aries to, um, deepen their relationships? Stop focusing on perfection. And stop projecting what you think, pro yeah, that's what it is. Stop projecting what you think perfection is onto other people. You're understimulated because you're projecting what you should be doing onto other people. Aries, <laughs> bad, bad Aries, you fiery little shit. No, I, I'm, I love you guys. I really do. Uh, every single one of the signs in the world that can deal with me are Aries. My mini's in Aries. But yeah, you guys cannot, you guys, okay, 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 so there's, are you, okay, you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing because you're projecting out to the world what you think other people want you to do. Stop that, Aries. Stop that right the fuck now. Stop it. That's not okay. I don't condone that. Do you hear me? I don't. No makeup on my face. I don't condone this, Aries. <laughs> okay? 
Yeah, blurred lines, blurred lines. Okay, some shit's going on. You're blurry, you're blurry. You're having a hard time focusing on what it is that you're supposed to do versus what you're actually doing. You're projecting what others want you to do out. And it's it's like, and you're giving of yourself. You're giving. Do you see that? She's pulling her fruit off of her tree and giving it away. You're projecting onto others or onto the world what you think you should be doing. You gotta go, look at all this. The best way to deepen your relationships to a level where it isn't shallow, you have got to stop this. You have to. Like, there's no, like, way around it. Um, this is coming in so strong for you. And, and this feeling of nausea and not feeling like you're being true to yourself and feeling like you're cheating yourself is going to stop the minute you stop doing this. So what do you guys say? Sorry, there's a shirt here. That's, here we go. What do you guys suggest is the best way for Aries to balance the chakra, please? Yeah. You got to get out of impartiality. You got to stop weighing the options of what other people want. Look at that. Who the fuck wants to carry paint cans? And I know that it says paint, but the word pain right here the word pain okay like it's causing you physical pain at this point if you have any ailments with your body i bet you that this is this is causing you to be sick physically aries because you're not a sign listen aries are i always i always describe sphinx the sphinx kitties I think that's what they're called little sphinx kitties they're like uh that they come from i don't know where they come from honestly i think they originate in egypt i'm not really quite sure where you would i, I remember looking for one and there was a breeder in like london and there was like one or two of them so they're very rare cats and when i was reading about these cats i was like wow the temperaments the way that they are they literally have to be taught to be from being their own personality. It isn't like, oh, they're wild cats. And they have to, it's like sphinxes are their own entities. Like there's no, there's no animals like them. And so they have to be taught to go into the world around humans. And I just remember reading about all of the character traits with them. And I was just like, wow, that's, that reminds me so much of an Aries. So if you guys are curious, check out the sphinx cats because they're really fucking cool cats. They really are. They're awesome cats. <laughs> If I had my little Chiquita banana, we'd be messing with the Sphinx kitty. <laughs> okay, so what's the result of them balancing this chakra? Perseverance. Look at this. Your guides. You coming into who you are, your guides are going to be there to catch you. Okay, sometimes it feels like we're falling into a fucking abyss. But that abyss that, that below us is the love. The love of our guides catching us. And it sounds so cheesy. But honestly, I love that this is perseverance and it's orange. And look at the butterfly wings being shed. Look at, no, those aren't yours anymore. Okay, certain things serve us for so long and then they don't. And then you got to shed those and then you got to become who you are, your own person. That's beautiful, Aries. You can do this. You just got to stop. You got to stop speaking other people's truths and start speaking your own truth. All right, what is the affirmation for Aries, please? give you both of them but wow on the second one the moment i realign with love clear direction is presented to me okay and this one i surrender to a power greater than me wow aries wow and there's an emphasis emphasis on the butterfly i surrender to a power greater than me write that down pause this and write this down please 
Put it under your pillow. Don't tell anybody. Who gives a fuck? But really, that's that's beautiful. That's so pretty. Surrender to a power greater than me. All right, can you give me a Keep Us in the Light Oracle card for Aries, please? All right, that was quick. Lady Venus. Downloads and understanding. Truth is being revealed. Deep insights are coming from heaven and the astral realm. Okay. They're there for you. You just have to stop letting others tell you who you are and start being your own person, Aries. All right. I love you guys. See you soon. Namaste. Bye-bye.